doing a wrapped in. <laughs> and then this is Dinah's music, which I find weird. So it's true, Duna. You betrayed the Dinarians, your own people. Now back away. Once I get that core component, we'll be able to reassemble the sub idol comp. I won't allow you to take the core component. And I won't allow you to hurt the humans. To hurt Fuzzy! You've let yourself be tainted by human weaknesses. You are better. You used to be better than you are, Duna. Pathetic. If you won't see reason, I'll just have to annihilate both of you. Combat holographic systems on. Battle mode engaged. Now, I got kind of mad the first time I did this because Duna said that she wouldn't let you. that she wouldn't let Rapton hurt me. But uh, anyway. Rapton has himself and his two Dynamaitens, which again are both exactly the same. Yeah, Earth types are pretty good for this battle. As are long range types. Uh, Mm. Wait. I think Raptor looks like a girl by eye in that picture. This is a little swipe. You know, I hardly ever use this like, moves like these.
Okay, so even with level 12 and stuff, this still is a fairly hard battle. Okay, finally. Okay, now I have a, now I have a team of all level 12s. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There must be some kind of mistake. I was in battle mode. You, you, you human. How could I lose to such a flawed organism? Raptin, listen. Humans are different, but not more any, f but not any more flawed than Inarians. They're born on this planet, and they've evolved into real intelligent life. The idea that Dinarians are the only worthwhile beings in the universe is narrow-minded, dangerous thinking. No! Humans were an accident, a side effect of our evolutionary experiments gone wrong. You don't befriend your mistakes, you learn how to make them again. You learn how to not make them again and start over from scratch. No matter how you fight against it, you can't stop the invisible doom of humankind. No creature as flawed as that can survive for long. I honestly think that even without the threat of the Dinarians, it, I mean... One day, Raptor, I hope both you and King Dino will be able to see past your own DNA. There are probably other Dinarians on the way. Let's get back to the Fossil Center with the Stone Human. Meanwhile, back at the Fossil Center... To revive the... To retrieve the last fragment, we'll need to revive this human. Since this equipment is based on Dinarian technology, I'm confident that I can operate it. Unfortunately, the stone sleep device wasn't calibrated for human use, so this specimen is unusual. It looks like there's an extra coating of stone that we'll need to remove. Fuzzy, you're the most skilled fossil cleaner here. Will you clean the stone human? I like that part. And now we get to clean, yay! Then I believe if you just use the hammer, it can't get broken or anything. Okay, it can? Oh. Oh well. Fuzzy, just be calm, focus, and try again. Oh well, oops. I don't even care about the dust. And as you can see, this is Dr. Biggin. In a dress. Of course, you were sent back in time to the Jurassic period. And... Fuzzy and Duna? And this, this is the Fossil Center. I'm back. I'm in my proper time period. And then he jumps around. Like, yay. This is like waking up from a nightmare. I just went from the starship... Our ship to the Jurassic period in an instant. I was sure I would die there long before I'd ever been born, but then I remembered. I remembered the crash spaceship that only Mr. Richmond and I knew about. I hoped desperately that I might find stone sleep technology inside the ship. So I set up to find the ship. 
from the ship. It was a long and extremely difficult journey. Yes, we can tell by looking at you. You're wearing a dress. First, I ran into a hungry Tyrannosaurus that scooped me up in his mouth, and... I'd love to hear about your adventures some other time. For now, let's concentrate on the idol fragment. Oh, right, I've got it. I held on to it tightly the whole time. Fuzzy, would you take that over to Mr. Richmond? I'll be right over after I explain everything to Dr. Diggins. Okay, now you are very close to beating the game if you're at this point in the story. You go over there... There's a talking scene, you go to the spaceship, find Dino, you fight Dino. You go, um, and uh, then there's a talking scene, then you fight Ganache. And then you're done with the game.